the current situation is that I got into a um, fender bender, whatever you want to call it. And there was only damage to my vehicle. The other person's vehicle was fine. They were fine. I'm fine. But my vehicle's not completely fine. They got a little bobo. A little bobo. But yeah, guys, it's been a long time since I've banged up a car. I am not the best driver. Disclaimer. 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 I'm not the best driver. But I have managed to go unscathed for a very long time without doing anything. But today was the day. And no, I was not on my phone. No, I was not doing anything else. I was literally just trying to get out of an awkward position at a gas station. And I don't know what happened. Like my brain just went blank. And didn't realize there was a vehicle directly behind me as well as on the side of me. On the side of me, I saw that. And I just, I don't know, my brain just blanked out and was like, system crash. Like, I don't know. And then it was like, I felt and heard. And I was like, wait a minute, did I just hit somebody's car? Oh my God, I just hit somebody's car. Oh Jesus. So of course my heart starts racing. My anxiety has been way under control lately, which I'm very proud of myself for. But today, today, honey. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So I hop out, I see the man getting out of his car and I'm like, he's gonna be mad. He's gonna be angry with me. And I don't blame him because it's like, you're just coming to the store for a snack or for whatever. And here I am running into you for no reason. And the man was very kind. He got out, looked at his vehicle calmly. He looked at mine as I'm walking around, like I'm literally like walking as slow as ever. <laughs> And I'm also partially embarrassed because there are other witnesses of this and they're just looking like, oh my goodness. I know y'all was judging me. I already know, it's cool. It's cool. So I suffered the embarrassment, walked the walk of shame around to the site. And I looked and he's like, well, my vehicle's fine, but yours not so much. <laughs> At this point, it's funny how calm this man was about everything. If he could only see how not calm I really felt, like on the outside, I was looking like I was calm. On the inside, I was terrified. I was screaming, internal screams. Internally screaming. <laughs> like seriously. So, um, yeah. And I, I, I looked, not a scratch. The man had it, um, an older model Chevy, maybe Tahoe or something, or I think it was a Tahoe. Now, y'all already know those things are built to last. I know that's not their slogan, but they are. And older cars, I don't care what anybody says, older cars have more sustainability. They are way more durable than these new cars because new cars be made out of plastic and stuff. I don't know if y'all know, but these older cars, they metal like clink, clink. So they are not about to get banged up real easy. It was me. It was me and my vehicle that I got, you know, messed up. So I look and I'm like, not a scratch, not a dent, not a nothing on this man's car. But me, the crunch that I heard was <laughs> Black Beauty. You know what I'm saying? Black Bonnie. That's actually, I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you the wrong name. Black Bonnie sustained injuries. They are not severe, they are mild injuries, but that nonetheless, they are injuries. And it's all my fault. So, yep, I sent a series of sporadic texts to my wife, freaking out. Um, I spent 20 minutes outside of my child's practice because I had to hold it together for a long time, y'all. Because I was en route. I stopped at the gas station to get my child's water because he didn't have water for practice um, or tryouts. For soccer and so I stopped to get him water ended up in an awkward position hits a person's car sustains injuries to my car not myself not to anybody else great but um, then when I I have to hold it together all of this time 
and I'm calmly telling him what happens and he's like really I mean is it noticeable and I'm like yeah it's noticeable <laughs> and he goes on about his little life like okay and so I wait till he gets to practice he gets out of the car gathers his belongings and then I proceed to unravel. I pull out of the parking lot off to the side of the road. So I'm directly across from the children's hospital here. And I'm on the side parked and I sit in my car for a hot second thinking, okay, what do I do? My wife hasn't contacted me back. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I come to the conclusion I'm just going to sit for a moment so I can calm my nervous system. And then mm, I get out and I look at the damage because I didn't really get to assess the damage very much. When I first saw it, I was just like, yeah. But this time I looked at it carefully and I started pushing on some stuff. Something popped back into place. Some other parts didn't. There's a couple of little boo-boos and you know, bruises there that um, that's where the crack crunchy sound came from. I cracked the light cover a little bit and I think there's a spot on the car. I don't know. I'll, I mean, I'll show you guys the video, like you can see it. So I was just like, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe there is someone who could like push this back in place and snap everything back and buff out some of these scratches, replace the light cover. I feel like I know what to do. I just don't have the power to do it the tools you know what I'm saying I don't have the expertise so I have to let somebody else do that if y'all know some body shops let me know because I don't think I'm going to do an insurance claim because I don't think it's that serious it doesn't look that serious it was not hard impact because I wasn't going very fast I was carefully backing so I thought so I thought I was carefully backing out of this awkward space that I was in <laughs> so it was slow and by the time that I realized that it was too close, it was like happening already. And get this, here's another embarrassing part of it. So as I finally, like once me and the guy, you know, handled our business, I got back in the vehicle. I'm utterly embarrassed, but I still need to get out of this awkward position I'm in. I'm still there. So I am carefully backing up, literally like extra careful now. I noticed that there's no one on my side, like the car that was behind me was the way I had turned, they were now on my they would have been on my side. Never mind those details. Anyway, the man is gone, so there's not a car like behind. So I don't have to worry about that. But as I'm turning my wheel, there's someone pulled up at the gas pump like behind me. So I'm watching them. And I'm like, I cannot hit someone else's car right now. I just can't do it. But don't worry, sis had it under control. She has seen everything that happened. So she was directing me like, and I don't blame her. <laughs> I was like, she, she's not letting this happen. She's not about to let this happen.